I'm going to be the circulating nurse in this video. Hi, I'm Steph. I'm going to be the veterinarian during this little video. I'm going to be the anesthesiologist in this video. Hi, doctor. We have Oreo in for her spay today. Oh, okay. So I guess we'll just start with, off with a physical exam. Alright, so we're just going to check her capillary refill and her mucous membranes. They look good. We're also going to check for her temperature. Do you mind turning her around for me, please? Yeah. And then, yeah. 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 Alright, so she looks normal. We're going to check for her pulse and her respiratory rate. See any abnormalities on her or anything? Yeah. All right. I think she's ready to go. So now we're gonna do a couple tests on Oreo to make sure that she's healthy enough to go into surgery and that she'll be okay. So we have to do um, a ketamine test and a blood test, and we're gonna do a blood count just to make sure her blood levels are okay and great. Good girl, Oreo. Go. Good. So Paige is holding her under for her jugular, and her jugular is right underneath her neck. So Paige is going to hold her, and I just pulled some blood so we can get this tested and make sure she's good for surgery. Alrighty, so we're going to give Oreo some pre-medication. We're going to give her propofol, which will put Oreo under so she's ready for surgery, and it's just being injected into her cephalic vein here. Alrighty. She's good, so she should be getting sleepy, and yeah. So now we gotta shave Oreo's belly area right here, because that's where the actual spay will happen, and we gotta shave it so we can. Alrighty, so right now Oreo is under anesthetic. Right now she's getting inserting um, isofluorine gas, which is taking all the good oxygen and getting that and then all the bad oxygen comes out and goes through this tube here goes through the soda line and make sure it's all sterilized and whatnot and we also have to make sure it doesn't get clogged and this bag here is our IV fluid bag make sure Oreo is hydrated and it's connected through her cephalic vein here and also these things here are the breathing bags to make sure that Oreo is breathing properly and this is our oxygen cylinder, cylinder that receives the clean oxygen Alright, so I'm just prepping for the operation. Washing my hands thoroughly to make sure that there's nothing that'll uh, be un unsterile. Washing everything, the wrists, fingers. So I'm going to open the surgery tools, so I'm going to be really careful because inside it is sterilized and I can't touch it because that's going into Oreo. So we're just going to open it really carefully. And there we go. Alright, so surgery is starting right now. So what we're going to do is that we're going to do a little incision in Oreo's abdomen. Then we're going to take the surgical scissors and we're just going to enlarge the incision right here. Then I'm going to reach in. I'm going to locate the ovaries. Well, one ovary. I'm going to externalize that ovary. Alright, so we have the ovary. We're going to clamp one above, one below, and then we're going to ligate in between. And we're going to take it and we're going to cut just above the knot and we're going to throw this guy out and we're going to keep one ovary we're going to follow along well the pedicle yeah the pedicle and we're going to follow along up to the next one we're going to clamp again 
clamp again, ligate, so basically the same thing as the other side. And then we're going to cut right above the knot. We're going to check for bleeding. And then we're going to go find the uterus, clamp the surrogate, cervix, one below, one above. We're going to ligate, and then we're going to cut above the ligate, check for bleeding. Everything's good. We're going to shove everything back in there. And then we're going to suture up the abdominal wall carefully. Everything's done. Check for bleeding. Everything's good. That's all finished with her surgery. Now we're going to turn off the anesthetic machine and unhook her from the vaporizer to circuit and give her some medicam. To for the pain there, so we're gonna cephalic vein and insert that. And you notice that she's in lateral recumbency, so she'll wake up, she'll be on her side, and she'll be all good. I'm gonna wake up Oreo by rubbing her and warming up her body a little bit. This will simulate her to wake up. So I think she's waking up. Her eyes are slowly opening. We also put lube in her eyes to keep them nice and moist during the surgery. Hello. So now that she's awake, we're gonna put her in a in a cage and give her some fluid. Just make sure everything went well, and she should be healed up.